Hello, London. Fantastic being here with you. One of the finest cities in the whole world. But most of all, seeing all of you, 20,000 of you in front of me is a great sight. It's a very, very proud moment to me. I mentioned that London's one of the finest cities, and I'm sure you've all found that out. The great, wonderful places to eat and, uh, and drink and uh, to walk in the rain. We're really excited to be here and uh, to do all the wonderful things that, that London offers us. Theater trips, visiting the British Museum. What a night that was. We had that dinner there with the great big old dinosaurs. Amazing, wonderful uh, historical displays. Things that are millions of years old, hundreds of thousands of years old. And uh, it, uh, we just had the time of our lives. And one of the highlights of uh, our trip here this past week was that uh, we were fortunate enough to get a private viewing at the Metropolitan Tablets, which gives details about Noah's Ark. You guys all remember Noah's Ark? All the animals two by two going on? Well, there's a story about this tablet. It's very, very fascinating and it was wonderful to see it, and we got to meet the expert, a man who spent more than 30 years of his life working on a little tablet about the size of a telephone, a little tablet, and it's made out of clay. And it was made about 2,000 years ago, and it came from Mesopotamia. And the uh, guide there and the man who has worked for 40 years in the, in the museum, and he's worked at least 20 years just on this one tablet. Can you imagine he spent 30 years of his life just on that one little tablet of about 60 uh, hieroglyphics and uh, he, he finally got the combination of how to read them. And uh, he sacrificed his life for this one thing. Can you imagine 30 years on one little tablet? Well, he knew it was the right thing to do. And so he worked on it day and night. And he translated and he translated. And I just have to tell you that reading his story and talking to him and the people in the museum, he became a great hero to me. In my eyes, he was a hero of all heroes because he dedicated himself just to that one small tablet. Well, you know, he's kind of like what we're looking for. We're looking for heroes. We want to get a hero in our business, in our downline, don't we? We want people like Michael Jordan. But this guy, he doesn't look like Michael Jordan. He's got a long beard. And by now, he's already looking really old. And he doesn't look like Ronaldo or anybody that we might look up to. But I still recognize him as a hero because success comes from having the vision to see what others cannot see. And, and you know, there's a lot of people here today that still haven't seen our vision of where we're going. They haven't got the vision yet that they want to be on stage getting one of those big chairman's bonuses. How many of you are going to get one next year? 
Come on, every hand goes up. Everybody wants one. Tell yourself you want it. Success comes from having the vision to see what others can't see and then works hard to get it. It takes a commitment to be able to go through all of the things to reach our goals. To most people, this little tablet would just be a piece of old rock, and, uh, and they, they would probably throw it away, and they wouldn't see much value in it. But my guide, he had the gut feeling that it would real reveal something great, some lost secrets from history. And that's why he worked 30 years with just those 60 little letters. And guess what? He was right. Well, let me tell you about another man who had a dream, who could see what others of us couldn't see, things that were right, and he knew it. I want to talk to you a little bit about our late friend and much beloved Dusty Green. How many of you can remember Dusty Green? Well, let me tell you something. Dusty's father is here with us today. Harold Green. Harold, will you stand up wherever you're at? Wave your arms so we can see you. I want everybody to see that you're real. Dusty was real if you've only heard the stories. And Dusty was one of those great people who saw and had the vision of what's great in life. And he worked hard. Came from the U.S. to right here in the U.K. in 1993. And at that time, network marketing, would you believe, wasn't even anything big. Dusty came here and spent six years just working to help start forever in the UK and in several of the other countries he worked on. And many of the people at that time, they didn't believe there was a market for forever, would you believe? They tried to talk Dusty out of it. But he knew that if he worked hard, he could make sure that UK was every bit as good as the US, and he worked very hard with a lot of you here today. And he was a great visionary because he caught the vision. I think he dreamt about it at night. He helped many of you. How many of you are in Dusty Green's downline? Raise your hand. If you're in Dusty Green's downline. So some of the beginning people right here today caught that same vision, and we're very, very proud of it. What well, all I can say is I hope Dusty's looking down on us right now. I hope he's up there in one of these places looking at all of your faces and how excited you are because I know that he is very happy to see 20,000 people in his downline here in the UK. Give yourselves a big hand. Give Dusty a big hand. <clears throat> you know, without Dusty, we wouldn't be able to remember all the other friends who left their mark on Europe, too. We had lots of others who has worked hard done lots of great things. Friends like Bobby Wallenberg, one of our first leading distributors in Scandinavia. She was the mother of Magnus Aldercuse right here. He inherited her downline, and he has worked very hard to be one of the very choice top distributors in Scandinavia. And we love her, and we recognize her great legacy uh, Mangus. We got this great group here today because you worked on it and worked hard. So we thank you for it. Without Dusty, we may not know, have known Dorothy Wood. How many of you know Dorothy Wood? 
Raise your hand if you know Dorothy. Well, she was a great, great lady, very wonderful lady who was a true bell of energy, and she had happiness, and she built a, a great business. And uh, her legacy continues today by her daughter, who you just heard from, Jane Leach. Wow, is that great? Jane Leach's mother, great lady who worked very hard and built a great business. I want a great tribute to all of them from all the countries around. And uh, I want you to know that Dorothy was a person who loved and made people feel good. When you were with Dorothy, you felt like you were an angel because she was an angel for sure. She touched people and changed their lives. There's lots of people here today who have changed the lives of others. They aren't just the people who got checks for a half million dollars or even little checks. Or they aren't those people that are going to get bigger checks today. You want to see bigger checks? Well, these people have made a difference because of what they've done to help others. In our business, success is often having the ability to touch people each and every day, helping people with our products, helping people with the, uh, their business opportunity, understanding the marketing plan, helping them get new prospective distributors, helping them meet the requirements to move up the ladder I mean, everybody needs to have a friend. Everybody needs a helper. Everybody needs to have someone who will take time to share the good things of forever with them. Making these connections each day, if we do it every day, I'm telling you, you'll have the time of your lives. You'll enjoy life so much better. And I hope you've been doing it while you've been here in London already. Have you sponsored anybody new? Huh? You have done some? Wow. Are they here with you today? Oh, right. That's great. Uh, no, that, if you haven't, you need to do it. And we remember today's only Saturday, so we're still going to be here at least till tomorrow, right? And so let's get busy. Let's take them to dinner. Let's do something to be able to share with new people what we've been able to accumulate from our friends and our great examples from the past. So make sure that you remember that to build our business, you need to share every single day with somebody new. And what a great joy that can be. And so, and you heard it and you've seen it today, you've seen it this whole week, some of the great people in forever are just ordinary people like you and me, put their pants on the same way every day as we do, and they just have that quality in their heart that they want to share and help someone new. And boy, if you got that, you got the ingredients of being one of the greatest forever distributors on this whole earth. Thank you. Well, we're building an international business, so you'll never have a better opportunity to be able to share with other people. So, you know, some of these people here today might be their first day to come to a meeting. It might be their second week. It might be their 36th year. That's how long I've been in forever. How long have you been forever? How long do you want to be in forever? How big do you want your bonus check this next year? Remember, there's no limits in forever. Can you remember when we talked about no limits, no limits? I want you to know I'm proud of you because you guys have done it this past year. It's been a wonderful, wonderful experience. And uh, 
I have to tell you that when Greg created the idea of having a global rally, he had plenty of doubters. He had plenty of people that thought it'll never work. We'll never get the people together. Too many people, too much problem. But he had the courage and the commitment to say 20,000 duck soup, we can do it. And here we are, all of you are the qualifiers, and so you had the confidence and the vision to do it. So I'm telling you today, create your own legacy. And I want you to be a hero of your own story. Remember to make those connections every single day. Make a difference in this world. Enjoy the rest of the rally. And remember that the power of forever is the power of love. I love you all. Have a great day and a great forever. Thank you.